Hello, I'm Charles from Louis Purple, and I'm going to teach you how to do the Christ and Send knot, uh, aka the cross knot. Uh, and this knot was made popular uh, by um, Amanda Christensen, who used to be a tie maker, and who really uh, made this knot popular. So it's still pretty rare, and I would say fairly difficult to tie, but I'm sure with a little bit of practice you'll get a hold of it. So this is how you proceed. You want to have the wide, uh, the wide end on the right hand side, the narrow end on the left hand side like usual, except this time you want to have the wide end a little bit uh, like much longer than the, the narrow end, probably about 20 inches depending on the width of, uh, and the length of your tie. This is how you proceed. The wide end goes over the narrow end, it goes underneath, you pull it up and slide it inside between the neck and the knot and you pull it on the left hand side. So this is what you should have. And now, the tricky part, just put your fingers so that you, you still keep enough room to slide it in after you went twice, over and under, underneath, like, and then it's the regular, uh, the regular way to finish the knot. You just, once you went twice, over, over the narrow end, with your fingers, you don't want to pull it too too tight, otherwise it's going to be hard to slide it in. But this is the result you want to obtain. You adjust the knot. You have this like cross shape. And that's uh, the particularity about the Christensen knot. I think it's a, a really elegant look uh, with any tie, even though it's. Uh, it works great with uh, skinny ties. Uh, so this is how you tie the cross knot or also called the Christensen knot.